everyone, Mike Sherry here with Sherry 4x4. Today I have a limited edition run from Jeep that really makes this into a custom Jeep. So I'm excited to show this to you. This is a brand new Jeep Rubicon. It's the four-door Jeep. And it has the Extreme 35 tire package on it, which from the factory gives you 35 inch tires. Really unique package. Uh, and I'll go through the points on that package as we get to them. Now, if you're unfamiliar of Jeep Wrangler trim levels, the Rubicon is the high trim level, particularly for uh, if you're gonna do off-road purposes on it. So this bigger tire package on this trim level really makes great sense. Uh, typically, if you wanted 35s, you'd have to uh, take it to a shop and uh, get it done. Uh, and they might rub and things like that. Uh, but this being done right from Jeep, got full warranty on it, no rub, drives excellent, really quiet going down the road. Uh, it's got BF Goodrich tires on it, uh, which are the all-terrain tires, uh, the ones that everyone likes, the KO2s, and, and uh, really a slick looking Jeep Wrangler. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I always like to check up top, it's got the three-piece hard top, two removable front pieces there, fit in the bag in the back, I'll show you there. Uh, it does have the sill protectors down here, which is a, a rock rail. So if you are off-roading, this is going to be, uh, I believe it's stainless steel, if not it's steel, uh, to protect this under spot of the Jeep. It wraps up underneath here, uh, and uh, really gonna protect that if you get a boulder or something right here. Uh, fully done underside with all kind of protectors, protect the gas tank transfer case, uh, all that for off-road purposes. Truly a, an off-road vehicle that can be drove every day on the road. I just drove around town and it rides great. So best of both worlds. It has your sound bar up top here. Uh, being a Rubicon does have uh, leather, nice leather seating uh, with red stitching in it. Form-fitting Jeep mats back here. So it's gonna be easy to keep clean. If you get a little muddy on your boots, uh, don't worry, you can still get in. Uh, so we just take the mats out and hose them out when we get back at home. Exterior white, the white on black looks good. I like the red theme here. Kind of has it on the inside of the Jeep emblem there. And it carries through through the Rubicon badging on the hood. Now Rubicons come from the factory with taller fenders, so they sit up higher on the Jeep body itself. That allows for that bigger tire and wheel to fit underneath there. It's got your fender flare extenders on there from the factory. Keep that tire tucked in behind the, the fender. Keep the slop off the side of the Jeep or, or help to anyways. Uh, tires, I mentioned they're KO2 BF Goodrich, so if you're unfamiliar with that, uh, they're the tire everyone wants. So it's the Cadillac of tires for off-road and on-road purposes. 17-inch uh, factory wheels right there. see the inner workings of suspension and everything 100% factory really well done getting underneath here looks nice Rubicons are now coming standard with the Corning Gorilla Glass. That was an option at one time from Jeep and maybe still is on some trim levels, but on the Rubicon, I noticed on the window sticker, it is a standard feature. Uh, so it has that stronger glass, less uh, prone to uh, rock chipping and cracking. It's got the Jeep Performance Parts upgrade on the rear door hinge and tire mount. That allows for that 35 inch tire to still fit in there and they even were able to manage the third brake light to be tucked in there. It does have your backup uh, uh, camera right there as well. So that door opens up just easily. There's your bag for your two front pieces of your uh, hard top. Still has your spots for all your hardware for your door hinges, your roof, and your windshield if you want to take any of those parts off. And one thing about a Jeep I've been driving these, I was just thinking to myself, and I'll mention that when we get to it, but I've been driving these since uh, for 20 years now. I'm 36 this year, and uh, I've never had a bad time in a Jeep. I remember I had a really old one one time, and the uh, frame rails were rusting out, and it had well over 200 and I think 50,000 miles on it, and uh, it was so fun to drive. 
and uh, I never had a bad day, even when the even when the frame rails rusted through and I had to get those fixed with the repair kit. Just a fun vehicle. Have the top down, see everything as you sit up a little higher, and check this out. So I got in, sit in, I wanted to recline on the seat. I went to pull for the little strap. That's always here, right, to do that because Jeeps never have power seats, right? Well, now they do. This has got power driver and passenger seat, power recline, and even power lumbar. So it's pretty cool. The reason they have not done that is for water fording, you know, how high water can get up on the vehicle, and they never have allowed electronics in here uh, for that purpose. Well, they found out how to do it without sacrificing that water fording. Um, requirement so that they really set themselves really nice feel inside really clean dash they cleaned up the uh, infotainment center here carries right on over to the cluster gauge uh, everything on it you would want automatic headlights power mirrors and locks uh, the steering wheel is leather wrapped with the red stitching that we see in the seats it has all the modern safety feature, forward collision, adaptive cruise, um, hands-free connectivity, so you can talk on your cell phone hands-free. Uh, getting down here into media, it's got quite a few options here, FM, Sirius, XM, uh, phone connectivity. Uh, you have two climate zones, passenger and driver. You have heated seats and steering wheel is heated in here. Um, you have buttons and knobs for all that, for the radio and the seat and AC controls heated seat, heated steering wheel, and AC controls, all that right there. Push button start, power windows, all kind of spot to plug in uh, your phone and all those items. It has four auxiliary ports. What these are, if you want to add like a trail light out on front or maybe strobe lights or whatever you want to add, there's actually power ports underneath the hood you can hook in for power. And then those power ports are already configured into these switches. So you don't need to run a separate switch drill into the dash with some aftermarket toggle you have all factory options there now this being a rubicon it's got some options you don't find on any other jeeps that's your front and rear um, uh, axle differential locker what that allows all four wheels to spin that's for off-road purposes when you're out in the mud out in the snow having fun and then also you've got your sway bar disconnect that's for your front sway bar that allow that to disconnect you do that again for off-road purposes that allows the suspension to travel more and not limited by the sway bar and it's electronic disconnect automatic transmission four-wheel drive keyless entry with remote start these new Jeeps really have it all. They always lack the power seat now. They even have that programs up there for your garage doors. If you're unfamiliar with how these tops come off, it's it's very simple. You don't need a ratchet or anything. You just need a uh, ability to turn a couple knobs is all. Pretty lightweight too. Financing is available, factory direct pricing on these. We ship these all across the United States. We're based here in Ohio, but we have the greatest selection uh, and pricing of new Jeep Wranglers in the country. So give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. If this one's still available, we'll be happy to sell it to you or find one for you or even build a custom one for you. So give us a call today and uh, that phone number is 937-778-0830.